Hey guys, so I've recently encountered a quite a major problem that affected the quality of my prints. So the first few layers of my prints were turning out to be squished together. As you can see from this queue, this is the proper size 20 by 20 by 20 millimeters uh, queue. And this was the result of the first few layers being squished together. So the whole object here loses about 2 millimeters of dimension and that's quite a lot considering it's, this is only 20 by 20. So I went online to try to find a solution for my problem. But either the solutions were the common uh, level your bed or there are a few other ones that I did not find quite helpful to, uh, for my situation. So this video is to uh, inform anyone who has this problem and try to help them solve it. I will give you a couple of solutions uh, for you so that if one doesn't work, you can try some of the others. Now, let's get on to the video. So the first possible solution is that the nozzle can be too close to the, to the print bed. Now this cue was printed uh, before I removed my stock uh, Tivo Tornado uh, print bed. So I thought that maybe my print bed was not level and it, uh, it created uh, a, a slight tilt or warp in the print bed and then it raised the print uh, the print bed up and I, uh, so that uh, the first few layers would go get squished together. This is the most common uh, solution and it, uh, and it should fix most uh, of your problems. So be sure to check this first. After uh, I removed the bed, I thought that now it might be good. So I re-leveled the bed and now it's printing on glass. But since glass has a low coefficient of friction, the print doesn't stick well to the bed. So I had to use some uh, masking tape. Uh, as you can see, there are some masking tape marks on the, the second cube here. Now this was the result. It still has the same problem. Now I, I was lost in how to fix this. Now the, this problem is only in the Z direction. So the only possible uh, things that can change the, the Z direction is the lead screw and the bed. Now there is the third option of uh, the Z um, limit switch. Now. I believe the bed is fine because if I raise it too much, the print will not stick. So the bed was okay. And then I thought about exchanging the lead screw. I didn't really exchange the lead screw, but I just I uh, exchanged the, the Z coupler instead. That was a much easier exchange. So I, I changed it. But it wasn't. It still has a problem. I, I didn't know what it was. What it was. Now th this was printed with the Z coupler exchange. So I thought, hmm. I, I wanted to check if the Z was actually moving. So I loaded this into Idea Maker and actually uh, changed the Z. Uh, Z hop on retraction, so I can see if it's actually hopping when the coupler is turning. And 
lo and behold, the Z axis was not was uh, slipping during the first few layers, and only during the first few layers was the Z axis slip slipping. So I unscrewed everything and took the uh, lead screw out. I cleaned it and put it back, and I, I reinstalled everything. It, it, it worked a bit and then it failed again. I, I did some more research online, I, I searched up what can cause the Z axis problem and then I found that the limit switch was an option too. And I actually noticed that the limit switch was pushed down too much. So I raise it, raise the uh, limit switch up, and then relevel the bed again, and it was working, and it failed again. After one print, it failed again. So I thought maybe there's an easier option of uh, increasing the, the the step for Z, and this is the result. So you can see that everything is stretched out. Uh, this is not what you want it to have. Uh, so everything is stretched out compared to this here. So even though that both of these are 20 millimeters correctly in height, they're pretty flush. This one is actually the, uh, the correct print, and this one is just stretched out. And this is not what you want to have. So I just put it back to default. Um, this is a default step. And uh, after a few more days, I noticed uh, this, uh, a really strange sound in the, uh, in the lead screw. So the uh, lead screw was actually uh, not pushed all the way into the Z coupler. So this was the default Z coupler. And this is the one I bought. Now you can see that this one is a bit, you can see that this gap here is, is wider than the rest of it. So this, this springiness might have caused a problem. And also that this position of the uh, screws here, the, uh, there are plenty of videos uh, that shows to show that this spring is pulling in like this, well, whereas this one is actually pushing and grabbing onto the lead screw instead of holding it, holding it in this way uh, rather than pushing it in and securing it tightly. I think that my problem was the cutter's fault and also some human errors uh, where I did turn the, uh, the lead screw into the coupler completely. And that can cause a variety of problems for you. One of which is this problem of uh, the first few layers being squished together. And if there's, and if you can't raise the Z up, so your filament can't get out. And that causes your extruder to skip and uh, push the filament back, ca cause your filament to be stripped, and that stops your uh, your flow of filament after. After, so your fil you so you can't print anymore if if you have too much uh, grinding of the filament. And so I exchanged the the coupler. I. Uh, uninstalled the lead screw again 
and push back in and now it's working so in conclusion first you want to check your bed level if your bed is it's completely level and uh, if your if your bed is not too close to your nozzle And second, you want to check your limit switch. If it's actually uh, uh, not too low and causing your uh, nozzle to be not raised up far enough for it to uh, clear the limit switch onto the next layer. And if both of those problems do not solve your problem, then maybe check your lease first off buy some of these uh, new couplers you can see that uh, many youtubers are uh, recommending the, these better couplers than the stock ones and uh, replace these to see if your uh, problem uh, can be solved if not clean your screw but uh, lease screw Clean the grease off your lead screw and just just see if your lead screw can work without any oil or grease. Then if it, it works, you can put oil or a new fresh coat of grease on. So that's the, from the uh, least di difficult, which is leveling your, your bed. That's really simple, just uh, unscrew and screw some of the uh, four of your bed screws to the most difficult, which is turning, uh, changing or adjusting your lead screw. On a side note, the next model video will be out uh, in the, probably in the next week. So you guys probably can see a preview right now on your screen of the next model video. It is taking me quite a long time to model this. So hopefully when it comes out, you guys will like it. Now apart from what you're seeing on the screen, I won't share any other information about this model. So you have to wait until when the video comes out to know what exactly it is that I'm modeling right now. But apart from that, hope you guys learned something from this video and leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.